Nature's Prophet against the Razor, and they stomped that game, and he did so well in his laning stage, so it's definitely a possibility. Yeah, seven seconds left, so Team Liquid need to come up with something. Let's see. Monkey King. Monkey King. Okay. All right. Okay. So uh, this is the hero which is going to make this. It's like, I mean, it's so hard for them to kill him, right? The Weaver. Yeah. That's the, yeah. That's they the they, they don't part. really have a lot of lockdown. And this Monkey King yeah. pick didn't really give them any solution to that either. It just gives him Boundless Strike, which, yeah, it can hit him in Invis, but it's nothing to keep him locked down long enough to yeah. stop that ultimate coming off. So they're going to have to come up with a solution somehow, whether it be in the way they play or in the items they build. But Liquid definitely have the pressure on them to come up with a solution to the Weaver problem they have. Let's get into it. Game number one in this best of three series here in the winner's bracket of the European qualifiers for the Epicenter Major. My name is Momo, joining me is 1437, and let's get into it. There's our Mikey King running to the this middle lane in that donkey. My bad, I'm, talk I'm talking over them again as they're trying to chat wheel. Always my mistake. <laughs> you have 20 seconds, that's your, that's your time, you know. Oh, it's, pretty, it's pretty tamed, this game. Yeah, that we don't have OG, so it's always going to be a, a, a little less, uh, a little less hectic when those guys aren't around, because every single member of OG is just spamming out that chat wheel. Good reason too, yeah. you know. We, no. we saw from uh, from True Side, it, it definitely worked. <laughs> well, did he so play? as we predicted, right, the mind control is going to be going to the safe lane, and oh, they actually are going to put Miracle in the mid lane, and they put the Monkey King top. So it's this this one is better matchup I guess to uh punish the weaver if they can and also okay. the psyching. Yeah. Yeah. That's 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 not bad. I think the morphling against the Dusa is like like pretty even 50-50. I I'm, I think Monkey King will still have a better laning against a Dusa, but this will punish the alliance silence uh, a lot more putting the Monkey King onto the side lane. And it also give morphling more XP, right? Like I said, like if he copies Sanking or if he copies Weaver, he can be a big nuisance. So in order for him to do that, he's going to need a lot of uh, early level. Mickey coming in, doesn't manage to get the steal though. Kuroki picks up that bounty rune there for himself. And that will result in uh, Liquid grabbing themselves two bounties and Alliance also grabbing themselves two. So nice and even to start things off. Miracle going for the blocks oh. in the middle end. Boxy and Tiger are going to go for the first blood. <laughs> here. Yeah, they want level one kill on Miracle here. Miracle trying to block up as best he can. Quake for actually lets it creep through, so Miracle going to be quite safe here on the, in the lane. I don't think they're actually going to get this one, but they'll come in anyway. Oh, he actually morphs into Adji. The Boxy is here as well, but he's only got the tree. They need oh, a little bit more damage. Hit. The snake misses, and Miracle gets himself away on 90 HP. And Karita actually coming in to try and defend this one. Maybe get himself a return and kill. The blast coming out onto Tiger. and It is. It is. Tiger taking some damage here, but there's not going to be enough to bring him down. Just some heavy harass, though, coming out from Kuro as Boxy gets himself away as well. I mean, that wasn't too bad for Alliance. Like, they didn't get first blood, but this Morphling has zero regen on him right now. Like, he's waiting for that flash to come in. So, the Dusa has already farmed the first two waves, and the Morphling wasn't able to, like, get all those lasses either. He only has one last hit right now. Okay. He didn't even get that one, so he only has one last hit. <laughs> Yeah, it's a sad situation, and uh, yeah, quick for getting the design. Once again, a very good start to the lane for him, so despite not finding the kill onto Miracle, they've still put him in a really bad position, but finding that salve will come out to him, and uh, he can start trying to get some money in this lane. The quick for just threatening the snake, making it very difficult for, for Miracle Stop to come you. forwards here. Okay, yes. on the bottom lane, getting uh, a napalmed up a little bit. This Batrider should become out on top this game, right? In this lane? Uh, yeah, uh, people tend to think that Weaver is like really easy to play against Batrider, but it's not It's not as simple as that if it's a 1v1 matchup. If Weaver has some help, it's a different story, but right now this Bat's just gonna keep sticking him up, hit him. You know, he doesn't need to commit. If he uses Firefly, that's the only way like he's gonna mess up. But if as long as he just stickies him, it's gonna be really hard for the Weaver. Weaver is only good against that once he's like level 5 or 6 or something like that. But for now, yeah, it's well, not Talking about help, it. Tiger is making his way in uh, on the yeah, sand that's good. right now. That's actually really good. Because if the Weaver can somehow get like 1 or 2 waves free, and he gets that extra item that he needs, he can have a pretty significant advantage here. And no one on, on. Does this mean Liquid's got... Oh, Boxy's on Tiny, so he's farming up on the Tiny actually, not on the Sand King. Okay. Uh, Scoochie forward onto mind control. Tiger trying to get in range for the Burrow Strike. Won't be able to do so with these uh, two sticky palm 
Uh, stack's coming out on Tim. Sticky Napalm Stack's coming out on Tim. He's going to have to keep his distance. Uh, now up to three, so got to be very cautious of mind control here as he's coming forward. He's got the Firefly. If he wants to try and run down Tiger here, he could certainly go for it. But Tiger, he's got Sandstorm and he's got Burrow Strike as well, so mind control. Maybe he's just trying to force Tiger out of the lane, to be honest. He's uh, getting a ton of work done on Tim here. Just not letting him get those Sticky Napalm stacks off him. <laughs> mind control just edging really, really close. Yeah, it's not that, it's not really doing much. I mean, the Weaver is still far in that position. It's okay, like, Psyking's very happy, you know, tanking those stickies for his Weavers. But right now, Liquid, I mean, look at the Morphling. He's actually back, you know, like, he lost the first two waves, but he's contesting this Dusa very well, and the Dusa can't really, like, harass him that much. He's not really, you know, applying any pressure to him. Top lane, oh, Orb of Venom. Nice spawn. Gonna get away with the toss onto Kuro. A bit of damage coming through from Boxy onto that Oracle, but not really enough for threatening to kill. Meanwhile, the Bounder strikes Matu. He's got the Jingu off, and then they go with the root, holding Boxy still in order to secure first blood for Matumba men up here in the top lane. GH with the level 3 Enigma and Midnight Boss skill coming helping. in. Helping. Yeah, that was, that was actually really cool. Oh, he gave the Ring of Hell to the Oracle. Not even the Monkey King. <laughs> well, he's the one that needs the health right now. He's the one who's uh, down at 50% HP. Matu's absolutely peachy. Meanwhile, yeah, down this, at bot, Mind Control's being harassed up quite a lot. He's had to uh, kind of retreat under the tower a wee bit and force out the Firefly very early on as well. But five stacks on Weaver. He doesn't want to let it go, Mind Control, but he knows if he comes too far forwards, he may be punished. Yeah, this is the time where Mind Control is going to have a really. He's not going to be able to lane anymore. He's going to... He's just waiting it out for the shrine to open up. up in top, like, trying to fight up into Insania, and the Purifying Flames finish off the job. Mox, he really wants to find the kill here, but Matsu will keep his distance. The toss comes in. Ooh, tries to dodge the damage. Doesn't do so, but it wasn't enough to kill him. Yeah, and Bounty Runes are spawning. Taiga's going to get bottom. Kuro's going to get top. Control decides it's not worth throwing his body into the sandstorm in order to secure a bounty rune there. Wouldn't even be able to secure it with a burrow strike anyway, so just uh, settles for going over to the shrine. You want Kuro, gotta grab them both, so uh, once again, two apiece. Nothing uh, crazy going on for these bounties just yet. Game pretty tame as it stands, but Liquid in a fairly good position. Yeah, I think they're in an amazing position because they have the Enigma on their team, right? And they're actually coming out ahead on top and mid lane. And then the Batrider, even though he's kind of behind the last it's now he has more xp than the weaver so and that's what he really wants like he's playing bottom by himself but he's playing for the enigma right so and now they're gonna get the dominator and here it is the push again coming from liquid i'm really impressed with the liquid laning this game like how, picking the monkey king it makes more sense now that you just want they just wanted to punish either the tiny or the weaver who's gonna be laning on the side lanes yeah, and even if it was uh, going to be the Sand King up the top, he still wouldn't have had a very good time versus Matu up here, because uh, Mikey yeah. just dominate all those melee heroes like that. And, uh, Tiger, oh, actually coming oh, in. He's going to get the toss the under the tower. GH, he's just going to get annihilated here by Elijah. The battle strike comes through. GH actually buying himself quite a lot of time. The tower hits will come in, and Insania gets it with a right click. Uh, but they get the return kill already onto Boxy, and Tiger not in a great position either. Here five players come in, the shock wave as well, but the burrow strike forwards onto Matsu. He's got to be careful here. But Insania, he's taking such huge damage, and he is going to get blown up as well. GH grabs that kill. There's a TP in from Boxy, looking to maybe punish Matsu here. No, Boxy actually just wants himself the creeps, wants that XP. Yeah, they actually stopped them from taking the tower right now, so that's something at least for Alliance. But losing three heroes like that is very uh, uncomfortable for them. Now they need to expend their TPs to like come back here, and that means there's no pressure on the map for Liquid on anywhere else on the anywhere else. Yeah, and just look at Miracle farming himself up. Quake for jump into the jungle, pushing out the lane, jump into the jungle. He's uh, doing better on CS and uh, a bit ahead on net worth as well, especially with that uh, death early on from Miracle. The snake doing so much work onto the Morphling here as uh, he's just kind of running forwards on Koi for here, kind of showing him that you can't really trade because I have that morph available. Yeah, there's only here on Dota who can regenerate HP. Look at him. He just dropped to zero and back up to 400. It's absolutely insane. Very cool. Why here can do that? <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's going to be the case, uh, he just waits to the side as that snake comes out and then jumps back in to uh, grab all these creeps for himself. He just wants to take him out without any real threat here. He's uh, got this salve. No real issues. Meanwhile, at the top, it looks like they're getting aggressive here. 
That's he. Doesn't have a lot of health to do himself here. It does feel like Keeper of the Light is very good versus the Monkey King due to that blinding light. If you can get that off after he's got the Jingu stacks coming in, then um, you can put him in a bit of an awkward situation. But it's uh, level one, it doesn't really do quite enough. Yeah, what it, we know what it feels like Liquid playing. Oh, the okay, they're gonna toss in, they're going straight for the monkey. Is that even the play? Can they kill him with Oracle there? It doesn't really look like it, Kuroki just keeping him alive from behind. Yeah. Uh, it's like both that teams that are just keeping three heroes. Both hero, both teams are just keeping three heroes top lane, so like they're like trying to distract each other from whatever else is happening on the map. It's like they're both just content with their carries farming. Yeah, we've been elsewhere. here before, haven't we? They're both teams are trying to make space for the carries, taking the uh, the little engagements across the map here as long as it benefits them. I think if they got Weaver in this bottom lane, who's also been given a free lane right now because the uh, the Batrider didn't really do too well versus him. So I'm a little bit concerned for Liquid in that stage, but they're still doing pretty well for themselves with 5-1 and one right now and a 1k gold advantage. Yeah, and the Dusa really doesn't care about this mid lane that much. He's just going to keep on pushing it out there and go jungling. So it's uh, really nice for him uh, that he can push out the lane so much faster than the Morph lane can. That's why he's actually a little bit ahead than the Morph in the laning. I mean, in terms of net worth. Top though, Liquid looking to maybe get aggressive here. They toss out a net onto the Tiny, following it up with a root as well. The Blinding Light's going to hold them back for a little bit of time, but Meke coming into this fight. Scooching himself forwards, looking for a target. They're trying to bring down Matu, but the black hole to turn around and catches out too. But Alliance just smashing into Matu from the back lines, but he's actually going to be able to heal himself through it. He doesn't even care the fact that there's a Weaver here. Weaver's still trying to fight up. Boxy coming in as well, but he just gets Ooh. annihilated. Mikkei taken off the face of the earth. And now Boxy, he's held still by that damn creep, which he can't even finish off himself. They can't even kill the creep. I mean, the monkey goes down, but it's a, at a huge cost for Alliance so far. They're taking in more heroes. GH might be overstaying as welcome a little bit. The Enigma trying to run himself away here. The it comes through. That does land Tiger. Oh, what a stomp from the Centaur Conqueror, though. And that's actually going to save his oh. life. He just took that over really that creep nice. as well. Uh, the, the other one died, and GH Rocky. just managed to grab that one. Get the bounty. No oh. man on the tiny. He got the bounty. The value plays, and... They're gonna go toss forwards here. Okay, well, Medusa on top of him. He disarms the Medusa for the time. Oh, no. Unfortunately. He even used false promise. He's going for the TP out. Surely they've got an avalanche or something, right? He's got no mana. He's got no mana for the avalanche. And that's just gonna be a free Oracle survival. <laughs> oh, my God. Kuro oh, that was making so good. the plays. That was so good. And, and the thing is, like, both of the supports hit level 6 before even 10 minutes. So they didn't even need the tome for it. Now, Kuro's already level 7. Because that top death where the Weaver TP'd and died, it gave them so much XP. It's like they have these three heroes top and they don't have to do anything. They just come and die to them. Oh, here's the Dusa. Box just here's the Batrider. Uh oh, they're going on to him here. The lasso is out and he's just not surviving whatsoever. Quakefer must have been farming on kind of low mana there. With maybe just the insane damage of the morph ripping through his mana fairly quickly. Meanwhile, Tiger being run down by mind control a little bit here. Fairly sure he's not actually looking for a kill. There's a ton of fear there though. Boxy coming in. A little bit too late actually. Never mind. He was certainly looking for a kill and he gets it. They're trying to find the return here, but they have to be careful. Mind control. He's really flexing hard on Alliance here, forcing them back under the tier two. You dare come and fight me. He's challenging them. Alliance will not succumb. But they are getting a lot of damage up on this top tower, and this isn't really even a pushing lane. I mean, GH is down in the bottom. He has been here previously, but they don't need him to take this tower down. Kuro and Matu will do it without him. Yeah, that, that was... Uh, uh oh, Morphling caught out of... Well, full on Adji then. Boxy with an amazing rotation in. There you get the kill onto that morph, so that's a bit of an advantage now for Alliance. Can't really do anything with it though. I can't see them taking any towers, but just pushing Miracle down a little bit. Stop them reaching that insane stage, which you know these morphlings can get to. Yeah, I mean, we saw earlier like what the Batrider can do to the Dusa, right? He gets like three stacks on him and lassos him. He takes so much damage from all that magic. And uh, we can see, like, if Batrider ever gets, you know, his items, he gets, like, to this Blink Dagger Force Staff, or Bot's Blink Force Staff, whatever he wants to buy, it's going to be really hard for Alliance to try and deal with it. Maybe th that's another reason why they picked the Weaver, so they can buy Aghanims, like, possibly, for the Medusa, and then they can just, like, uh, Exalt the Batrider Lasso. Because oh, you were saying earlier, yeah. right, that they don't have a save for yeah, the right, Lasso. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. They do have a save. It's just a very unconventional one. 
At least it's from the yeah. core weavers. Sometimes, um, well, I say sometimes. We used to occasionally see it on the four position weaver, but yeah. On this, yeah. uh. On I this. just realized it just now as well, but. This weaver definitely needs to go to, like, this diffusal blade and try to create some fight and some tempo for his lineups. Uh, yeah, and honestly, soon, I think because... he needs a Lincolns before he can start to look towards the Nagnems or something like that, so. Yeah. Might not be a possibility anytime soon, but. Oh. Uh, looking for action in this bottom lane. Team Liquid are kind of gathering up three heroes. GH is here. He's got the black hole. Doesn't have a ton of mana. Doesn't really need it. They root up Mickey. Tiger's waiting in the wings. He's he's hanging out behind them. Pings out onto Kuro. Very cautious from Alliance. Not really willing to come forward. They kind of get the sense that something's off as no one's showing in this top lane. Mind control playing around Boxy up here, meanwhile. Matu. Thinking about it, Tiger's still waiting. So much patience from the Sand King right now. The pings come out. They actually knock him off the tree with a blinding light, but they're going to make the play onto Insania here. But he's got the Ignis Fats. It's going to hold them still. Matu, he's held inside that ultimate. Meanwhile, Kuro, he's being jumped on the backline here. He's not going to be able to get out of this one. And now the Avalanche Toss comes in onto Matu. Throw in an Illuminate as well. They get a second kill. Alliance cleaning up in this bottom lane. They win this little engagement. GHT peeing himself away. Will be successful in doing so. The centaur get to the trees. Um, I'm fairly sure the centaur's going to go down. So this should be another 300 gold for Mickey. He's got to find it first. <laughs> Come on, man. There we go. Mickey finally it. gets it. Meanwhile, Koikvert deals with a tower. And that's going to be very successful alliance down here as they get themselves two kills and a tower. Oh, that was huge. They Tiger. cut the lead down to 1k already. Oh. A little bit of an engagement here. I think Liquid might just be interested in getting cells out. It's, uh, <laughs> Tosses forward Tiger. And, uh, sorry, Mickey. Mickey immediately uh, time lapses out of it. Oh, I mean, I guess I think that's something. I think Liquid need to realize that uh, the Keeper of the Light is not a really easy hero to fight into. Because that ultimate bottom onto the Monkey King was the reason why they were able to have such a good engagement, right? Like, people forgot how to play against this hero because it hasn't been picked in such a long time yeah <laughs> uh, since it was so strong so yeah that's yeah. one of the advantages of these uh, niche heroes which a lot of these teams play you know they, if you if no one else is playing them no one else has to play against me well there's a lasso on top they've got the producer but he's got the stone gaze off in time and look at Matoom man in the action pose statue but he can now get out of that stone gaze and start to get to work on Koi for not surviving this one tiny come in hoping he could do something but boxy's probably gonna fall victim to Matu as well as he just smashes into the tiny the mountain has fallen and this tier two tower is not gonna be looking too healthy pretty soon either liquid just positioning themselves meanwhile uh, Mind Control's on a cliff, but he's got a blink dagger. Should he need it? But TP's himself away. Uh, I wonder why, uh... I wonder why Quake might actually TP up there. Like, normally in Medusa, you always see them farming behind his team and in the triangle area. And there wasn't anyone top lane, like, pushing the lane out for him and protecting him, so... I think he put himself in a really bad position top lane. And kind of, like, baited his team into coming to help him also, so... They've lost a lot of momentum there. When they took that bottom tower, uh, it should have been Alliance's territory after that. And you only let like a Sand King or a Tiny go top lane and just push out the lane. And just get whatever farm is there. But bringing that core up there into a really dangerous spot, I think uh, that's, that's really not good for this Dusa's item timings. Because she was doing really well, right? She was like the highest net worth. Yeah, but during that no. time that she was dead, the Morphling has taken over her now. Yeah, yeah, now Miracle's ahead. And uh, that's a sentence you don't want to be saying as an Alliance fan right now. Miracle is ahead on the Morphling. Going for this uh, Lincoln Sphere as well, actually, which I wonder what it's for. I mean, I guess the Burrow Strike or Toss Thank or something? You. Yeah, the Thanking Stun, I guess Dusa. Like if he clicks on you or something. The snakes. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it doesn't seem quite enough to solidify the, the Lincolns, but I guess Miracle really wants to kind of protect his mana pool and uh, just kind of stop that instant initiation which they have from these heroes. I mean, it kind of makes it easier for you to exit, like, farm, right? Like, you don't have to think about the thanking, just Ooh, instantly Martu stun. jumping in, immediately into Boxy, that goes okay. for the Avatos. This is dangerous as Tiger's running there. forward. Arc He's arc got the center for a strike through to the black hole as well. Come down from Jage, but immediately cancelled by the Ignis. As now Stone Gaze comes out, Martu gets saved up into the trees. But uh, there will be no save for GH, and Mind Control immediately picked oh, up. Oh, Oracle's well. going to die. Yeah, Oracle's in a really bad position right now. The right click's coming through from Koik, where they get another one, Alliance. They've gotten three so far. Martuk should that blink survive dagger on the trees. 
And they're gonna go straight into the tower. Like, Radiance like I just mentioned, people forgot how to play against Keeper. Yeah. That <laughs> ultimate was everything in that team fight. Like, Enigma can't just black hole like that if he doesn't see the Keeper, right? Martu, though, going for the ultimate. They're still looking for a fight here. Going onto the Tiger here, nearly knocking him out of that Wukong, but doesn't quite happen. It's gonna spell trouble. They're still trying to turn around onto Miracle a little bit, but Boxy, now the Jinx is coming out onto him, gets annihilated by Miracle, but Koi for coming to enjoy this fight as well as Martu actually gets brought down inside his own Wukong. He no doesn't matter. have enough armor, and Miracle is actually dropped as well. Two kills again for Alliance Liquid. They are not doing very well right now. Two bad fights in a row. Need to hit the drawing board and maybe replan how they're taking these fights right now. So they lost five, ta five heroes and the mid tower for pretty much a tiny through all of that. And now the Dusa is back where she belongs. At yep. the top of the network charts. Taking her crown. Put me up there. And next stop on the Medusa train is going to be Scotty City. As she queues that one up after the Manta style. That's going to be a very effective item. We know how good that is versus the Monkey King, just slowing him down and stopping being able to really chase people down with those uh, with those Jingus. Not super good versus the Morphling, but always nice to just get a bit of control after that hero. Yeah, and Alliance are starting to put a lot of pressure down under the lane now. Liquid are like trying to think again, like, okay, guys, can we actually fight them? Are we strong enough? Like, what happened in the last fight? You know, where did we go wrong? But I'm Radiance pretty sure they're not going to think about the Keeper again. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm, I'm looking at what happened last fight, and uh, he looks a bit like Gandalf, if you ask me. Meanwhile, Matu looking... Yeah. Oh, he's going to be able to run through this middle lane. He's in oh, we should also there. mention one thing that... Uh, in the past, people used to pick Keeper of the Light against Monkey King, so that uh, they can blinding light the monkey Radiance out of the Wukong. Yes, exactly. And, and Sunny is so nearly yeah. did that in the last fight as well. It was literally so close to being outside of that circle. Yeah, yeah. So I'm pretty sure Liquid also forgot about that when they picked this Monkey King. Because, like, come on, like, who actually plays Keeper? I, I haven't seen any other teams play Keeper. But Alliance plays so well. And, like, they understand how this hero works so Miracle. well. There's a lot of heroes oh, no. coming on him right now. He's got to be careful. He does get the strength morph off in time, but they might have enough damage to rip through him. All the same, but nope. Waveform up to the high ground. Miracle is quick. Yeah, that Lincoln's value. Uh, he's still hanging out here, though. Uh, inside the tiny form. Now back to the morphing form. Now they go in with the lasso. They've got the Weaver. Can they bring him down in time, though? The Ignis Master is going to hold them still and actually allow the Weaver to get out of this one. Garik is actually dropped by the epicenter as they rip through onto everybody. It's looking pretty bad for Monkey's Liquid dead. right now. Martu already dead. Mind control as well being picked off by Mickey. So much work being done by this keeper. Somebody shut him down. Somebody stop his ultimate. The light it's is so good. So good. The liquid yeah. are just like and moths, flying into this light over and over again, and Alliance are winning the game. Yeah, and the other unexpected thing is that uh, the Tiny has uh, the toss combo, and the Keeper keeps giving him mana, so he has his toss combo up like much sooner than you would think, and it's like really messing with Liquid's team fighting. Like, they're not expecting that the Tiny's uh, avalanche toss is like already up. So their positioning is like not Miracle into the pit though, he's going for the steal, he gets the Aegis! He actually gets it off them, Alliance robbed of their reward! As Miracle brings down the Medusa as well! What are you doing? They take down the Medusa, they grab the Aegis, they're looking for Mickey as well, here he's under a sentry, he gets pushed away. Tiger with a bow strike, buying his hero a little bit of time here, but that steal was absolutely phenomenal, but Boxy comes in, might have taken that Aegis, he certainly does, and gets Matu as well! Kuro, we're on the runaway here, trying to get his way up to the high ground, gets away with that, it's Miracle. Now, oh, he's caught. No, he actually gets a strength morph off just in time. Now they use the lasso to control oh, yeah, out the Weaver. Back. Nothing more. They might try and actually get the kill. Miracle's sticking around here. He still wants to fight up, and they actually get the kill onto Mickey for it. And now Boxy, he's not looking particularly good either. The Burrow Strike through onto Miracle. Strength morph once again. Zanya also playing around with him right now as uh, Mind Control is actually the one dropping kind of low. Alliance trying to clear themselves out here. Blink daggers at dawn as they run themselves back and disengage entirely. Liquid. Wow. The steel. Oh my god, Miracle. He not only did he get the Aegis, he got the last hit as well. So he got a shit ton of experience off that play as well. So they he got he killed the Dusa, they got the Roshan, he got the Aegis. That's the best case scenario that could have happened for Liquid. <laughs> Absolutely. Turning that one around. I mean, that belonged to Alliance. That was pure, pure thievery. Very cool. Well, he's gonna be feeling pretty good about himself right now, but still a long hill to climb. Alliance are still ahead. They still have this Medusa. And she's still in that top net worth spot, so I'll be disappointed they didn't get that Aegis, but it's definitely nowhere near over yet. Still a very close game, but that just made it a whole lot closer.
Okay, oh, Bat Rider, he's gonna get Diffuse on up. Yeah, he's actually oh, just getting yeah. eaten quite badly here as a toss comes forward. It's actually oh. on Takuro though, he can't fly into the right click damage, but never mind, a log comes yeah. flying in, hits Mind Control on the head, and send him to sleep. Kuroki's getting He's still hunted. For Kuro, yeah, here, Mickey, there's, there's, there's nothing really to punish him right now. The so Burrow Strike comes through, cancels that TP, and Kuroki's gonna get brought down as well. Yeah, Mirko just running around invisible. He doesn't know who to kill. <laughs> there's too many heroes here. <laughs> Radiance Middle Tower. Yeah, very awkward game right now. They're actually just gonna. They might just walk into the high ground after this tier two, because there's two heroes dead for 20 seconds. They quit our focus on split pushing. Okay, that glyph fight. might slow them yeah, down. It's not quite yeah. long, unfortunately. But uh, still, the map that will slow them down from going high ground at least. Radiance middle tower. What if top tower fall? Radiance bottom. Well, that was really early on. Under attack. Yep. So. Taiga's going for Vessel, that's going to be a key item. So they just need to think about how they can kill the Oracle first, and then um, they can Vessel up the Morphling and try to kill him with that. Because their problem right now is that they don't have the damage to kill the Morphling with, if they just use all their spells. Foxy has seen, Marty's oh. on the tree. He's seeking in some more alliance Man heroes into this one. GH though could be the target of this. I'm not even sure if uh, Matsu could do anything about it. He's actually gonna throw it on the Wukongs, but GH is already dead. But Boxy is in some troubles with Miracles in as well. But they've got the epicenter oh. coming through. It's too a lot of damage coming through onto the Morphling here. Miracle needs to get himself away, but he's running out of strength. He's out of strength. He's out of life. Miracle is slain. And Alliance will take another victory again and again, just finding the victories in these fights. I mean, what does Liquid need to do to win these? It's hard, man. I mean, he, they already made one miracle, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to have another. There's only one miracle, unfortunately. Like, like the lineup, like Alliance's lineup is just that much, you know, stronger when they come online, when they get everything. Radiance. Liquid had an amazing laning stage, right? They even picked this monkey to improve their laning stage. But right now, it feels like the monkey doesn't really have any impact against Alliance's heroes. And this Keeper's, like, ulti is just like a monster like alliance don't fight unless it's up you can just see how they're doing all their actions and this caudal tiny combo is also very very strong yeah the constant use coming through on the fights and uh, now we have ourselves a scardy on the deuce buying out for it but uh, no real threat Yo, she, uh, she is so fat she is so so fat now like she she died three times but it doesn't feel like she died three times like Maybe it would have sped up her farm by two or three minutes only, but she's got all the items that she really needs to be able to live through any engagements after this. So Enigma is going for the BKB now. I mean, he has to buy it, right? Or else the Keeper ulti is just going to keep cancelling him. Yeah, he doesn't have and much. He's really choice close to it. He, he's... Oh, he's actually really close to it. Yeah, he's got the Ogre Club and the, uh, and the recipe on the curry. Okay, he, he, he skipped the mech in the... Yeah, he's in the other games he always uh, bought the mech. This game he skipped it, so that's the miracle that they're hoping for, you know, where they can get this BKB and maybe get this super good uh, black hole off, where Alliance don't know that the Enigma has a BKB or is even going for a BKB. Marty won't be able to see much as it's nighttime right now, but there is a Medusa just under him here. So keep it up with the creep wave. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Next, this game is, uh, is is very, very tense. I mean, we know that Alliance are ahead. They've got a 6k gold advantage, but it's really Dyer's difficult to not think that attack. Liquid are going to make some crazy Radiant's comeback play. They've done it once. Attack. It didn't end up going super well for them afterwards, but uh, if they can do it again, you know, I'm very, I'm very worried about this Morphling um, Miracle. He's getting close to the shotgun. Still pretty far behind yeah. the Medusa, though. Yes. To be honest, like this level of farm for Morphling is not ideal. Like normally, Morphlings, if they have free farm or they have a good game, they'll have, you know, E Blade by 25 or something. But it's already 27. He's still working on it. It means like he's been having a really tough time. Like Alliance has been holding him down, and he's been really pressured in the game that he needs to join team fights all the time. Okay. Oh, strike it's gonna worse, but the full stop away. It's a very deep go. Yeah, they are oh, okay. for this. Mind Control jumps into everybody, gets the lasso onto the Weaver. The Ignis is out, but it doesn't actually catch Mind Control inside of it. So they jump straight forward onto Matu. He's got this BKB. The Stone Gaze is out as well. The Ignis actually gets kind of diffused as Miracle's just going in deep, finds Insania, and now into the Weaver form, finding more. 
through it. Mind Control chased down in the tree lines and they get themselves another kill. So Insania Mind Control uh, and Kuro all dying in this little engagement here. Alliance, they've still got yeah. four heroes looking pretty fancy right now. That, that was a really weird engagement by Alliance because there's a ward on Liquid side there on the hill and that's the reason why Miracle tp it into the fight and went straight for Insania and they didn't deward that either so it's a really you know difficult space to fight in but Alliance's heroes are so tanky and they're so strong that it doesn't even matter if Liquid sees all the heroes in the fight. Yeah, Miracle Miracle's still running chasing. forward there. He's, he's got no chill. He's chasing. Yeah, you can see how like Miracle, he's not really focused on the farming. He feels like they need to fight their way back into this game. He cannot farm his way back into this game. Like that's why he keeps doing all these actions. That's why he keeps TPing back into these fights and stuff. There are games where like if he feels they're gonna win the late game, he's not gonna TP back. He's just gonna let his teammates die, he's gonna keep going. But this game, he's pretty much TPing into every single team fight. Yeah, he's he's been very active. He knows that the team need him. They don't really have much damage without him, especially this Monkey King being so well controlled in these fights. With the BKB, I was expecting a little bit more out of Matu in that last engagement there, but he was still just kind of duked around. They didn't really force themselves to say... Meanwhile, they jump in. They've got the lasso. They're trying to bring down the tidy, but the Burrow Strike in response is going to hold mind control still. And Boxy actually just turning. You want to attack me? I want to attack you. They're trying to fight up with each other now. But uh, Boxy just uh, grabbing a haste on the floor there as well. But in comes Miracle. Doesn't have the damage though. It Oh, the eggs, the weaver. The weaver oh, actually went for it. He actually went for <laughs> yeah. it. Okay, okay. <laughs> A stunned moment of confusion. Like, what? Where did the hero go? <laughs> Where did they go? The, the Cobble weaver get his ability back, but yeah, the weaver egg saves Boxy. Okay, all right, we're, we're back on the wavelength now. All right, so yeah, Mickey so really kind of, on. yeah, just says that Diffusal, Dyer, Dragon, scanning. Lance, that's enough for me to hopefully survive the uh, lasso if I get caught. And now I can go Radiant's for the uh, for the Agnims to try and help out the Juicer. So it really is kind of turning I mean, into 4 Protect 1. But when Koik was this pack, that's not really a problem. Yep. I mean, his plan is like, he's not going to get caught by the Radiant's Batrider. He, like, he's not going to position himself to get caught. So that's his idea. And he knows that the only way that Liquid can win a teamfight is if he's the one who gets lassoed, right? So he's considering that and always positioning himself in a way where the Bat needs to go through all of his teammates to get to him. Yeah, and I mean, that's not going to be possible. He's going to die so fast. Mind Control has been jumping in super deep for these engagements. It's been like four staff, blink, finding whoever, hopefully the Weaver, but the, the, the split decision making has, has usually uh, ended up in the Weaver. But last time it was a tiny. But yeah, we'll probably see him playing much more defensively now on the on the here until that lasso is gone or until that black hole is gone. Until he can have a really yeah. big effect on that ultimate and then starts to try and chase some heroes down. But they can really kind of just get behind this producer right now. She is super yeah. girthy. So Alliance plan right now is just going to play around the top and the mid area of the map. They have some vision set up here and they're just going to wait until uh, Liquid makes some kind of mistake or in their positioning on the map and they're just going to take the Roshan. Because this Roshan is pretty much everything, right? If the first Roshan came to Alliance, they would have like had complete control of this game. But of course, you know, Miracle stole it and it kind of hindered their plans. But now the second Roshan is coming. They're in the same position again where they're really far ahead. They're just waiting for the right opportunity or like the right pickoff to happen so they can just secure the Roshan. They don't want the same shenanigans happening again where there's a team fight inside the pit and the Dusa dies or they lose the Aegis or anything like that. Yeah, they want to secure this one. Yeah. If the Dusa gets Aegis, like it's so freaking hard for Liquid to try and fight. So Liquid is they're obviously thinking about that. They've been like zoned out of that hill area, but now they're smoking out, seeing if they can just uh, try to contest this Roshan. Okay, here it is. And the line going forward. Boxy actually just loading oh, onto Kuro straight away with the burst strike through as well. They're actually able to find that kill. And now, well, they got the black hole. It's out onto three, which is pretty good. Matu throwing down the ultimate top of it as well. They'll be able to actually bring down Mickey straight away, but he buys back. Boxy drives on the front line as well, but found the strike going to finish him off. Ignis doesn't really do them much with those BKBs coming out. Koikfer then loading onto Matu a bit, forcing him back up to the high ground right now. So Alliance forced to buy back on two of those heroes. They did manage to get Kuro. But, uh, and also, you know, the ultimates are used, so Alliance shouldn't be super scared right now, but Liquid really kind of trying to pile in here. And uh, Miracle forced back up onto his high ground. They have a lot of heroes that can play around this right now as they actually go in. Miracle nearly just drops straight up to Boxy's combination here. And Tiger goes for the ultimate, not really finding anybody though. That one's going to go to waste. But still zones them back out, although they weren't actually in the pit any longer. 
Yeah, this buyback was actually necessary so that they can just secure the Roshan. Enigma uses the Buckle, so it's a really long cooldown. And even though they did die, they have an opening here to just get the Aegis. That, that's what matters, right? That was a black hole. That was a BKB black hole when Alliance didn't even know that the Enigma was going for the BKB. They got, like, what? Their position 1, 2, and 3 caught in the black hole? And they couldn't do anything? And that's the fight that Liquid won. So yeah, the next time they know... GH caught yeah, out so... a little bit here by Boxy, tossed back into his illusions. Burrow Strike oh always there God. from Tiger. No TPs allowed. Tiger, man. This guy, like, Tiger and Boxy are just holding hands the whole entire game. They're, they're, so they're a think... bromance. They're a dream team right now. Yeah, you think that you're fine and you're about to TP out from this tiny, but there it is, the Sand King, just out of nowhere. From the left field, or Miracle turning into this juicer, doing his best impression, the attempts to defend this high ground. So right now, Elias needs to think like, okay, Enigma holds down and our team fight is so much stronger. Let's see how we can like pick off this Oracle when he tries to use the Edict. Because that's the only spell that's stopping Alliance from taking this tower right now. Oh, they actually jump in, tossing back, back. Miracle quite deep here. Where try comes through as well, but he's going to be able to get that Morph off. I think that's actually thrown down on top of him. It catches three heroes inside of it. And with the Stone Gaze wow. as well, they're forced into looking at Quake for two heroes. Disappears straight off the back, and the toss is going to find Miracle as well. Three dead. What a combo by Alliance. That was damn fruity from them. They're onto this high ground now. Koiko just taking down the tower onto the racks now as well. The buyback's coming in from Liquid. It's on the Morphling. GH pops a uh, BKB to stop himself being stunned up. And I'll just uh, get that tiny out of there That's with the time tiny. Yeah. 60 oh second cooldown. Oh my god, that combo was so good. So good. What was that? 50% bonus physical damage if they get frozen. That They yeah. die so fast. <laughs> it just didn't have a that. chance. No chance to react there. Look at me. So fast. Look at Yeah, me. and this dude is about to hit level 25. That's 34 minutes in. That's really, that's pretty fast. That's I think. Fast. It, it certainly is. Which, uh, which time I mean, is the going next to go highest for? Is, pretty sure it's the... Uh, yeah, what? the next highest is Morphling 21. So mm. not <laughs> on Radiant side. Yeah. The TP gets cancelled. Matsu jumping onto Quake for here. There's a whole team of lions behind him though, so Matsu can't really go for anything, especially with his ages as well. Just Medusa, not even scared. She actually turned around him. Uh, what 25 talent are we expecting, by the way? Usually we see the... A split shot. Split shot. Yeah, She's going to go to split shot modifiers. Yeah. Yep. I mean, you've got a Scaddy and a Daedalus. Uh, oh, oh, double damage, but taken away. He doesn't actually get it, and he gets denied by somebody as they toss in. Moment for more. They're not really finding anybody here. Boxy is going to be the new target, and he might just be left behind here. It looks like Alliance are kind of passing on Boxy here. Sorry, mate. You're yeah, not they don't worth wanna, saving. They don't want to fight into the Enigma BKB black hole yeah. in that position. They want their own scary. terms, you know? They want to, like, figure out, you know, get the good position. So you just leave the hero, get out. That was a really jump, a good jump by Mind Control there, baiting out the double damage. It would have been a huge pickoff, but Alliance just uh, only losing the tiny. I think they like that was that was the best case scenario for Alliance. Yeah, I was almost expecting a Weaver uh, time lapse to come in because the range is absolutely bananas, but uh, couldn't quite find the uh, the entry point there. Didn't want to get too close yeah, they, as well. They got so much cash. They were very, they were very split up. Uh, they were not like preparing for Liquid to smoke down there and or like come down there for a team fight or anything like that. Just playing with the Dusa, following him. They don't care about anything. He still has the Aegis for another minute and a half. So they're gonna go high ground bottom soon. Time, but they're just waiting for the Tiny's uh, time. Coming so into the series. Complete honesty time. Did you expect uh -huh. any of the games to be this close? Oh yeah, definitely. Like, li you mean Liquid versus like DSO? Or... Uh, uh, Liquid versus Alliance. Oh, Liquid versus Alliance. Um, yeah, actually, I've been watching Alliance. They're very, very Radiance impressive team. Like, has they've beaten, I think, even in the first major qualifiers, they beat Liquid and then they qualified for it, right? That way, uh, so not too sure. I, 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 yeah, I, I, it was like the first major of the something. Like oh right, the first. But yeah, major. I would never. Yeah, I would never put anything past this. Team. Like this team has so many like quirky strategies that you can't keep up with, man. Like it's so difficult to play against a team like this. Especially you just finish a Bo3 and you don't even know who you're gonna play against next. Yeah, it's like so hard to prepare for them. 
Yeah, like basically three teams to prepare for today, and like, then that's oh, the big hardest one. The toss back onto Kuro Perfect. here. They Yo, can't let this back. Oracle die, but I'm not sure they have a choice. He might be able to get the false promise off on himself. He has buyback. Okay. Wasn't trying to save himself. He knew. So this is going to be their initiation every single time. They're not going to have some fire fights or anything like that. They're just going to toss someone out, make them out of position, and then take the team fight. Is coming in from Tiger. Oh, this is where I gotta the be. They find another one. Matsu tossed back into Koikba here. Does throw down the ultimate. Yeah, the BKB kind of right early. away. Yeah, the BKB was quick, so no yeah. stuns up. And actually, with that BKB usage, um, the Stone Gaze being down, this is a line. They're gonna back up. Yeah. There's no Roshan. He just lost the Aegis. So they were actually already planning to go back. And the reason why the Dusa used the ult, he knows that the moment someone big like Monkey gets tossed in, that's when Enigma wants to use the black hole to like try and save him, right? So he pops the he pops the stone gate so that Enigma cannot jump in and they can try to secure a kill. But then Monkey already got the BKB off, they just disengage and now they're just gonna control the game to play for the next Roshan already. Very systematic gameplay from Alliance. They really understand. Okay, alright. If a fight breaks out here. Okay, they have a word now, so they're gonna control they're gonna keep control of this bottom area. Koikva has a cheese. And another toss forwards onto Matsu. Again, his BKB is still a cooldown if they can kill him now. It's gonna be a pretty good fight for them. The black hole comes on straight onto the Medusa, but there's the Ignis coming in to cancel it up. And the damage is in once again. Koikva, he's a meat grinder right now. He takes out Matsu GH and mind control. Now look at Will's Miracle as well. He'll be able to just weave himself away from this one. But now this game just got so hard. They don't wow. have the monkey for another 50 seconds. They have the Enigma, but he doesn't have black hole. That, that was so beautiful. You know, the Weaver had an illusion rune and he baited the lasso out. Oh, they've got Miracle, miracle. in the back lines. He's got to be careful here, but again, yeah, just yeah, morphing yeah, himself yeah, around. Yeah, yeah, they don't right. have They're just going to go for the objectives. Um, yeah. Why is the Enigma's Black King bar on cooldown? Uh, I think, like, like I said earlier, when the Medusa used the Stone Gaze, he was thinking about going in. Was that it? I mean, I'm, I'm sure. guessing that's what happened. When when uh, he was he was gonna go in, but then the stone gaze came out because the monkey's uh, BKB was on cooldown, right? So if he used it at the same time, then they would have the same cooldowns. Yeah, yeah, maybe it was just about cooldown there. It's good. It's got to be the case. I can't think of any other reason. He just had to go for it there. Now your bottom ranks are dead. Mid racks. Well, I mean, <laughs> Kuro comes over and disarms him for a little bit, but Quake were just getting straight back to work. There are these sticky napalm starting to stack, stack up on him now, and with the respawning of the Monkey King and the Enigma, Alliance shows some more respect and get themselves away. Might wait for this next Roshan before we go for the Mokas. Who? <laughs> GH has a refresher now. Oh, GH. Two black holes. Wow, this is the full old skill Enigma build. No auras for GH today, just going straight in for the, the BKB, the Blink Dagger, the Refresher Orb. And he's just smoking up. He doesn't want to reveal any well, of these items. He wants it to be a complete yeah. surprise. He needs to, um, if he uses his Midnight Pulse two times, he needs to use Mana Boots two times to get enough mana to cast both Black Holes. It's a very expensive skill. And if he doesn't get the Deuce on the Black Hole, the Deuce is actually just going to kill him in like four shots or something. <laughs> so the Enigma doesn't have any other item. Oh, Flakeville once again. Back out. Look at JH's him. positioning here. We know he liked to do that in the other game. Foxy looks for a pick, doesn't find it, four staff back down. Matsu with GH right now. Koikva just hidden the buildings right now, mind control. Actually destroying GH's cover a little bit as he's into the trees as well. Looking for somebody going in deep, who can he find? He's looking for a side not gonna jump it, and immediately Elias are on top of mind control, trying to bring him down nice and quick here. They don't actually manage oh, he's to, alive. Though. He survived somehow. They didn't commit the will o -Wisp to the Batfighter kill. Yeah. But he doesn't have buyback on Batfighter. He used it in the last engagement. That would have been a really good pickoff. But they're What's just going to get the racks They like nearly this? got the Mega Creeps. Uh, Koifa's just hitting buildings. He's uh, Stone Gaze used just to secure the range rack. Sure, that's worth it. Oh, perfect. Easy Mega Creeps. Alliance is so disciplined right now. Yeah, they But really if they are. fight here, there's no, there's no Stone Gaze for the Black Hole now. If they fight here. Unless Tiny is the one who jumps the Enigma first. Makes them low enough. For the Dusa to just like hit him once and yeah, he dies. It's a possibility. But... So they were thinking about fighting into that like with inside that word, but Liquid obviously oh, just very backed short off. You know, there's vision as well. That's gonna help them. They stick their heads in until two more seconds. It is gonna spawn. Foxy, just oh, stay, wait. stay. Oh god, he moves away. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh so unfortunate. Misfortune there. Yeah. That's actually so unfortunate. One second. 
Radiant okay, Mickey's stone. going. Mickey's going. He's like, alright guys. I'll go look at Roshan. I mean, there could have been a chance where they would have got wiped in that Roshan, right? Because they don't have stone gates up still. It's better they actually wait for the stone gates first before they do the Roshan. Yeah, I mean... Then again, there's a double damage rune bottled on the Medusa. Yeah, I, he doesn't want to use it for the Roshan. For, oh, he no, wants he to use it for like, fight. that team fight. Yeah, but he, they don't want a team fight at the moment until he has that stone gaze up, because that's the key spell to stop the black hole from destroying them. Okay, uh, Koiba comes, comes in, immediately hole. getting lassoed oh, up where the black hole, it doesn't land on anybody! Oh no, that is not right, but he's got the refresher orb, will be able to throw it down onto the Medusa, yeah, Tiger just down. outside of it as well, Medusa surviving barely throughout that, and then the Weaver comes in to bring him back to life, but Koiba, they're losing teammates, and Zani is down, but GH and Matu dropping just as quickly, and look at Koiba's damage, tearing through everybody, Illiquid are completely devastated, they're gonna lose Rishan, and they'll probably lose the game as well, nobody is here for the steals, Miracle just trying to make his way around this fight, but gets caught out by Boxy because he had the damage to finish him off. He doesn't, but he's cancelled the TP. Miracle, at least he's got that Weaver form. Meanwhile, Koikvo just eats a cheese all to himself, has a refresher shard for Insania as well. There's so much damage coming out from the Medusa with the double damage rune as well. They didn't kill her. The Weaver came to save the day, and now it's looking like the game might well be over. They actually just about get money for buyback on the Enigma as well. So GH is in, but he doesn't have a black hole. And look at the creeps inside the base. They've already taken yeah, down these tier 4 towers most of the way. There's no way. There is no way Liquid defend this one. They go in for the last ditch effort. They got four heroes up, but the Ancient, it's being struck. And look at GH just trying to come forward. That's a blink away to the creeps even. He can't even get out of the base. Liquid just mobbed like a horde of zombies. Boxy gets an easy one. The stone gate is being used as Koiba just smacks down this tower. Well, Miracle will come in from behind, but does get frozen up. And there's the Ancient. It falls. Alliance taking game number one versus Team Liquid. Wow. What a result.